Ciao! Today we're gonna talk light traveling and packing. Most people can probably wrap their heads around packing only in a carry-on for a weekend or a week, but I do it all the time. And since we're leaving tomorrow for a trip to go to Thailand for two months, then I thought that I would shoot this video and show you what I'm packing for that particular trip. So I hope you can use my tips and get inspired on how to do it yourself. Because it's really hot in Thailand right now, I'm gonna be mainly packing very lightweight clothes and it's all gonna fit in here. First, the perfect dress for doing tropical travel. Then I'm gonna bring a long sleeve blouse, this top. Then I have a t-shirt, my shorts. Everything is very lightweight. A basic white tank top and my skirt. Basic cotton top goes on the side here and one belt. This packing cube is a two-sided packing cube and one side actually comes waterproof. So if you have a wet towel or a wet bikini or a bathing suit or something then you can put it in here and nothing else in your suitcase get wet. Just zip this up. The only thing that doesn't fit is just a t-shirt for sleeping. It's my pajama. So I'm just gonna roll that up wherever it might be best. In this cube I have my underwear and my socks and I usually bring four to five pairs of each. One tip about underwear, make sure to pack the thinnest ones. One, it takes up less space and two, it dries a lot quicker when you're on the go. This one is for my swimsuits and I bring a fast drying towel. It's not very big, I just bring this one in case I need it, and I have needed it a few times, so it comes in handy and it goes in here every time. I bought this Eagle Creek packing cube, and I don't use it as a packing cube, I use it for my laundry. It doesn't weigh anything. I never ever bring more than two pairs of shoes unless I absolutely need to. So what I'm bringing on this trip is these shoes and they're for walking, hiking, they hold up really well. I'm going to put them down here because I'm going to wear them on the flight. The other pair I'm going to bring are my sandals. I make sure that whatever footwear I pack goes with everything that I packed clothes-wise. And these are very practical too because they don't take up any space. I have some papers. Everything that I need for work I print out beforehand and if I need to print out some more stuff I'll find a printer over there somewhere. Band-aids, stack of playing cards. I always bring a journal. I'm a journaler. I love writing all my thoughts down. I use it for notes, everything. So this one takes up space and weighs something, yes, but I go nuts without a journal. So this one comes to my iPad. I have everything that I read on here. So the clothes is all over here and I'm going to put my computer in here as well. I like to keep it in here where I know it's safe, it won't slide all over the place. Obviously I need my camera bag. Most of the time I put it in here, a lot of the time I carry it just around my shoulder. So I'm sure that, because I need it all the time, so. But it fits perfectly right here. I usually pack one packing cube with all of my chargers. Chargers and my external hard drive. And then I have this little guy. is an external battery. And I use it mainly to charge my phone. It's an old phone, so the battery doesn't always last that long. So I bring this in case I need to use my phone as a GPS or something. I like being organized with cords because cords all over the suitcase drives me nuts. Next up is my tripod. It's very small and lightweight. It fits right here. It's being used for the camera right now. So obviously I can't real time pack it, but this is where it goes and it fits perfectly. Mounting things for camera and GoPro. I get really tired in my head from flying because of all of the machine cabin noise. So I'm really excited to test out these noise-canceling headphones. 
toiletries. I'm wearing these two. In this one, I have all of my makeup, my toothbrush, everything that's non-liquid. In this one, the liquid stuff. My scarf, my trusted friend. I use this for everything. Going to temples or the Catholic churches and you have to be covered up. I can use it walking from the beach if I need to cover up a little bit more. So I can lie on it, spread it out on a beach chair. I also use it on the plane. And I can actually use it as a blanket and it does make a difference if the lights are bothering me. I use it as a pillow. I never go anywhere without one of these. This stuff. Sunglasses, obviously. International driver's license, some money, passports vaccination cards and my wallet. This is a day bag that actually folds into itself. Everything that I need with me on the plane and easy to reach goes in here. The rest goes here and up in the overhead compartments. It's very lightweight. It's waterproof. It has this little pocket here and I use it for things that I always bring. This little plastic container it has a sleep mask, my small headphones, and earplugs. I never go anywhere without this kit. It's my survival kit. And I always know where to find it, right in there. Chapstick for dry lips on the plane. Motion sickness drugs, which I use all the time. As you might have figured out by now, I get motion sick on planes, on trains, in cars, and on boats everywhere. I always bring a little roll of small bags just in case because it makes me feel a lot more secure knowing that I have this within reach and it's also very very practical. In here I can keep a water bottle or a coke bottle or something and in the big compartment I usually put my camera bag, my pashmina, yeah. That's about it. What I pack varies a little bit from trip to trip, but the basic things are the same. So I hope you can use my tips and get inspired on how to do it yourself.